this is my alocasia sabrina now it has yellow leaves and it is dying morning so this is momiji and today um, we will be propagating or we'll try to uh, revive the alocasia sabrina that died and so this is what happened to the Sabrina. I'll cut this off and we'll see. Sad. And you have another leaf here. Sad Sabrina. Sad Sabrina. So. In one of my videos, I showed the growth of a new leaf of the Alocasia Sabrina. Unfortunately, after that, it died. So, what I tried to do is look at its bulb. So, it has this bulb. It's actually a very, very big bulb. And this is the mother plant bulb. This is the bulb <coughs> that was left of the Zebrina attached here. So this is where the bulb grew that died. So I tried to slice off the stalk. So this is the bulb. These are the stalks that was left of the Sabrina that I had that died. So, yun yung stock niya. So, what we'll try to do is revive. We'll try to revive it using these bulbs. This is one bulb. So, I have here a, a knife that I will slice. So, I'll just slice this. And we'll try to, since I have here a very big bulb, I will try to propagate the this one. Also, it's quite big, so I'll try to slice this and see if it will be able to propagate itself. So, this is what you'll need. We have here the bulb. I'll use this to prepare the bulb, and then we'll plant it in this mix. So, since the cause of the root rot is um, the water was staying so much in the soil. I think it wasn't it was improper drainage. So just to be sure I'll use this kind of um, mix. This is the one we used. So as you can see this is the one I used. So that caused the death of the assembly. So let's do it. So we're trying to slice off the bulb. This is one bulb. And then you have here. So these are the bulbs that we have sliced for the zebrina plant. And now we'll plant it in soil. Here soil mix. This is garden soil mixed with um pomis. So I'm just gonna poke some hole. I have seven bulbs so three four five six seven and then let's put the bulb here just put it there It's waiting time. 